How's it going guys? So today I'm doing another review of another set of hearing protectors. And the reason I purchased these was I originally had the 3M Pelter Alert model hearing protectors. And what ended up happening was I lent them to a friend and then he's been reluctant to give them back ever since and I'm too nice a guy to go over there and take them back. So, uh, you know, after somebody sweats in them too, you kind of want to stick away with them. But unfortunately, 3M uh, Pelter Alert model, they ended up discontinuing that. And the great thing about the, that headset was it had uh, w what we call the alert, um, the alert uh, feature of those headphones. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to hear what's going around, uh, going on in your surroundings, in addition to being able to play music. So it, it's really unfortunate that they uh, they got discontinued. I think what happened, I think they realized they made a product that was too good for the price they were offering, and then they just discontinued it. So I'm really disappointed about that, but I was able to find something very similar to that. And also, I believe it was uh, somewhat cheaper. I don't have the exact price in front of me, but I will leave that uh, right at the bottom of this video right now. And I will also leave a link in the description uh, where you can purchase these. Uh, but yeah, so here we have, it's an Elvex. And it is, uh, they, they call this brand Aware as opposed to Alert. So this also does include the feature of having, um, you know, being able to hear your surroundings. And as you can see on the box here, you also do have an AM and FM tuner. And also one thing that I really do like about this, that the Pelter didn't, ex well it had it, but you had to uh, purchase a separate adapter, which was like between 30 and 40 bucks. But... Um, what it is, is it's just a regular uh, MP3 jack, so you can plug in your iPod, uh, your cell phone, anything like that, so you can have um, it, another external music device, and you can play directly what you want on your device into your headphones. For the Pelter, you did have to purchase that accessory piece, and I was kind of disappointed with that. Uh, so yeah, let's open it up. Let's see what we have here. Quickly, if you want to read down the side of the box, you can pause the video. It, uh, this does have an NRAA noise, noise reduction rating of 22. The Pelter 3M I think had something along the lines of 30. So I was definitely disappointed in the loss there. But the reason I purchased these is because this was the only headphone that I could find that did have that alert feature, or the aware feature. Um, there are better headphones out there when it comes to noise reduction ratings. Um, like like 30 or in the upper 30s that's like awesome but I'm, I'm definitely uh, losing a little a little bit on hearing protection but you know what I'd I'd rather take that because I, I'd rather know what's going on around me if somebody's screaming at me you know I want to know what's going on so here we have uh, the model which is a COM 680 let's open up the box We have the headphones. One moment. Let's see, first impressions here. I like the color. This headband feels very gushy. I'm not sure how long it'll uh, withstand the test of time, but as of right now, it does feel very gushy on the head. Uh, let's take a peek on the inside here. I don't know. So other than that, I mean, it, it definitely does feel pretty good in the hand. Uh, there are your controls there. Let's take a peek at how they spin. They spin fairly easily, so if you do happen to be uh, working in close quarters with limbs or stuff that you tend to rub up against, uh, that's something that definitely could be uh, changed quite frequently. Uh, what we have there, there's your on, off, and volume. Your amplifier, which I would presume uh, controls your aware feature. One thing that I am kind of concerned about, though, is this AM and FM switch. Uh, you know, when I when I saw it online, I was kind of concerned that it would break off somewhat easily because on the Pelter model, they did have like a stainless steel toggle switch that seemed uh, quite heavy duty. But now that I'm feeling this, it does feel 
pretty sturdy. Granted, I'm, I'm sure I got to be careful with it, uh, much more careful than I was with the Pelter, but uh, you know, I, I feel like it, it'll still do pretty well. And uh, let's see, there's your MP, MP3 jack. Hopefully, I don't break these things on the counter here. I don't think I'm going to be able to open that up with one finger. I think I'm opening it. Ah, I was opening it up the wrong way. Look at that. There we go. So I believe that's a 2.5 millimeter jack. And also something that they did was that was very nice is they do include an MP3 cord that you can plug right into your cell phone. Now one thing I will mention real quick is depending on what phone case you have, you may need to get a somewhat of an adapter because the issue with cords like this for me is uh, let me let me open this and hopefully I can better explain this to you. Yeah, the issue with cords like this is uh, this is the proper connector or adapter piece, but the issue is this boot right behind it, and I'm not going to be able to fit that into my jack because my phone case inhibits that. But they do make, a, I guess they're called low profile um, uh, accessory jacks that you know will adapt from a, a a thinner male to a female that'll connect right on there. Uh, I'll see if I can find that, and if I can find one, I will also leave that in the link to this video. So yeah, uh, what else do we have in the box here? Also you have your instruction pack. If you care to read that, you can pause and go through that. You do include a set of Toshiba batteries, which I'm not going to trust too much. And that's pretty much that. Nothing else in the box. And uh, I mean, I can only review this so much from uh, just opening it, uh, opening it up, and taking it out of the box. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw the batteries in there, and we're going to try this out and see what kind of sounds we can hear. Opening this up, there's no kind of rubber gasket, so I uh, don't really think this is very water resistant. Without question, it's definitely not waterproof, so it's just something you want to be careful with. If you are ever in a wet environment, if you're out in the rain, I would recommend definitely um, taking the batteries out and make sure you dry this compartment out to make sure you don't uh, incur any type of corrosion. So. Here we are, battery installation is pretty simple. I'm gonna make sure it clicks in there all the way. And yeah, let's turn these on and see how they sound. All right, so I've gotten a chance to throw the batteries in here and turn it on. Took a walk outside and I played around with it. And I'll quickly go over the operation and I'll go over my opinions on it. So to turn the headset on, uh, all you simply need to do is turn this. And say you just wanna use your uh, microphone pickup feature or your aware function as they call it all you need to do is turn this knob just a little bit so that it clicks on and then you can play around with this amp to control how much pickup you want to hear if you have this turned up all the way it pretty much sounds like uh, it, it, how do I describe it? It's like you're having a regular conversation. Everything sounds just as it would if you were talking to another person. Uh, so yeah, and then if you don't want that on, all you need to do is turn it to the left, turn it off. And then uh, if you want to use a radio feature, what you need to do is simply turn this control up to turn the volume up. And then you have your adjustment dial right here. And you can select between FM or AM. So it's, it's pretty straightforward when it comes to that. Now, here's what it comes down to in my opinion. If you have an environment where you absolutely need to know what's going on with your surroundings, say you're cutting the grass and you also kind of want to hear what's going on with your kids or something like that, or somebody starts screaming, I think this is something that you absolutely need to have. 
Uh, also what it does is it takes the surrounding sounds and it lowers it down to a safe decibel rating. So if, if you need to have something like this, I would definitely recommend this. Now, when it comes to actual performance of the device, uh, I'm going to compare it to the Pelter 3M Alert model, which again is discontinued. I thought that was five stars across the board between construction, um, between comfort, uh, radio function, amplification. I thought everything was pristine. Five stars. Now when it comes to this, I'm going to rate everything pretty much four and a half stars across the board. And why I'm saying that is because just, I, I would say the radio, the quality is four out of five stars. It's pretty clear. Um, it definitely does sound a little bit quieter, but I, uh, some people might say, well, that's because you only have the, uh, the 22 NRAA rating. Well, I just went outside and it sounded extremely quiet. I mean, definitely enough that you can hear what's going on. I, I just wish it was a little bit louder. Uh, sound quality, it was pretty good. I, I'd rate it four out of five stars. And the pickup feature, again, it's it's four out of five stars. So that's that's basically what it comes down to. So yeah, again, I, I, I just overall, I'd rate this four out of five stars so far. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside and cut the grass, which I'm not going to get on video. And I'm going to start conducting some noise. And then uh, following the end of this clip, I'm going to write a paragraph about the performance with it while I was doing something that was uh, rather noisy or something that did require hearing protection. So I'm going to do that now and uh, you're going to see the response momentarily with the power of video magic. But anyway, thanks for watching. Again, the link to this product will be in the description below and hopefully I will be able to find some type of auxiliary cable adapter for those of you that have cases that require a low profile cord. But anyway, thanks for watching.